Today's question is, is it normal for my attorney to speak on behalf of the opposing party's attorney or opposing counsel, as we call it? My name is Robert Buchanan. People call me Bobby. This is Illinois Divorce TV. Now let's dive in. The question comes about when you are in a case and you're appearing in court, and it seems that every time you appear, the other attorney or your attorney says something like, Judge, uh, we're here on status of settlement. Opposing counsel and I spoke, and we need another 14 days in order to get together with the parties and blah, 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 blah. But opposing counsel is nowhere to be found. Um, and your attorney is there just kind of representing to the judge what you guys have already talked about. Is that okay? Is there anything wrong with that? Well, yes, it's fine. I, the court operates on the premise of the attorneys and the judge being true to their own word. And you might laugh when you hear that because a lot of people have kind of negative feelings about attorneys and, and feel like they're not uh, telling the truth all the time. But believe it or not, the essence of practicing in court and building a good reputation in court is that your word is your bond. So as an officer of the court, that's what they call uh, an attorney, as an officer of the court, when you make a representation to a judge as something as simple as I spoke to opposing counsel and we both agree about this, if that turns out not to be true, say you never did speak to opposing counsel, or there is no agreement, that's a serious, serious deal in the eyes of the court and your reputation as attorney plummets immediately and you're going to have a really hard time persuading the judge. So yes, it is it is fine for an attorney to represent that they talk to opposing counsel. What's not fine is that you are going to have to pay your attorney for that court appearance, and the other side doesn't have to pay their attorney anything for that court appearance. And so much of court, so much of family law, is driven by the money side of it is driven by how much is this costing you? How much is this costing the other side? And oftentimes settlement occurs when the parties get exasperated with paying so much money. So it can actually be a, a tactical move by the opposing counsel if they really want to be. And, and it's, and it's kind of a dirty move, to be honest. It, you know, if they do, or they're doing it strategically of continually not showing up in court, because they know that nothing really major is going to happen in court. And what they're doing is forcing the other side to keep paying and paying and paying a lawyer to be there while they're just dragging out the case without having to bill their client anything or they just bill their client just a little bit. And they're able to actually shift the momentum of the case just by making your invoices increase, increase, increase. So if that is what's happening in your case, then another strategy needs to be implemented. Possibly your attorney needs to get more aggressive in motion practice or discovery practice so that there are real consequences of the other attorney not showing up. I hope this made some sense, and if you have any questions, drop them down in the comments below of whatever social media platform you're watching this on. Subscribe, follow, and see us on the next video. Talk to you soon.